I am Leon and Desi's middle child. <clears throat> this is something that my mother wrote uh, the year before she passed away. And uh, Aunt LaVey had this and told me to try to man up and, and read this to you. <clears throat> my mom was uh, very special to me, so I get... <laughs> I get pretty emotional of anything connected with her. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> My Mentor by Desi. Today must be one of those near perfect days that 1997 has brought us. The temperature is ideal. The sun is shining after much needed rain. And again, I think of my parents. It's not possible for my memories to go away all the way back to 1927 when I was born. But I do reminisce often of things during my very early childhood. Even at almost 70 years of age, I still miss my mother and father. <laughs> it is July of 1932. We're moving to Amherst to, from Lam Amherst to Littlefield. I love the big shade trees at our house in Amherst, but I wonder, like my mother does, what my new home will be like. There is such hustle and bustle. My dad and my big brothers are working hard to get everything on the truck. But it seems to me <clears throat> it is harder for my mother than anyone. <laughs> it's, it seems to be her job to see that each box is packed. <clears throat> well, I thought I could do this. <clears throat> While she is watching after all the small children in our, our family, <clears throat> she has so much to do and so many things to see about, but she never neglects her children. At last, we are in our new home in Littlefield. Things are quite unorganized. Being four years old, I'm sleepy and tired. Oh boy, Mom just fixed me a place to take a nap. I get to sleep at the, at the neat little bed on the quilt box. <clears throat> She doesn't get to take a rest with me because she has a little boy and another little girl younger than I to see after while she tries to put things in their proper place. Now we are all well acquainted with, with not only our new neighborhood, but the town. It is hard to believe one and a half years has passed and now I get to go to school. That makes 10 Walker children in the Littlefield schools. I think my mother must be magic. Who else could have 10 children ready for school? Just a few days ago, I overheard her, overheard her say, Carl, will you <clears throat> ask Mr. Jeffries to let you charge a little dress or two for Desi to wear to school? Sure enough, he did. I don't care that they're just alike. They're different colors, you know. One has blueberries while the other one has red berries. My mom is just as pleased as I am. If she is not, <laughs> she says nothing to dad in front of me. She doesn't want to spoil my happiness ever. As the years pass, I make my dear friends at school, but I realize every day my mother is my best friend. I'm in the third grade now. I'm kind of upset today. A girl asked me while we were playing on the playground what my name is. When I told her it's Desi, she said, oh, our cow's named Desi. <laughs> at the end of the day, I will tell my best friend, my mom, sure enough, she knows how to make it all better. How does she always know just what to say? When I grow up, I'd like to be just like my mom. And she was. <laughs> I don't know how I got to the seventh grade so fast. My main concern is that my mom has pneumonia. It is kind of scary because I don't remember her ever being sick in bed before. Always before, she just kept going. I don't really know how to take care of her. The sand's blowing so bad. Mom is really hard, having a hard time breathing. Dad wet some sheets and put them up over the windows to keep the sand out of her room. That helped her a lot. She is such a tough little lady. Another year has passed, and I can't hardly believe I'm graduating from grammar school. Once again, my mom has come to the rescue. Somehow, she was able to get me a dress to wear to my graduation. 
I'm all ready to go when she walks by and pats me on the back of my neck and says, I love that little fat neck. That was in my heart and mind all evening. Even though my mom was unable to come to my graduation, I still felt loved. I've been so anxious for high school. Finally, I made it. When you're in high school, you feel so grown up. I feel closer to mom with every passing year. She is so smart. When I ask for help on, on my homework, she actually works it around, so I do everything myself. When I ask to spell a word, she hands me the dictionary. When I'm all finished, I feel like she really helped me a lot. Most of all, she makes me know she is interested in what I'm doing. Even though it is 1944, it's hard for me to realize some of the things that take place. I heard on campus this morning about this beautiful little girl in the class below me slept with her boyfriend last night. I live three blocks from school and I cried all the way home at noon. Mom is so busy trying to get everyone fed, finally I get a chance to talk to her. Again, she knows just the right things to say to make me know that it's okay, but I feel so much better. The time has come for me to graduate from high school. I wonder what will happen in my life next. Mom wants each of her children to have a good education. How do I get this good education she talks about? Will I have a chance to go to Washington, D.C., where opportunities are greater? Graduation has been a big event for Mom each time one of her children graduated. I am borrowing a formal gown from a friend. Alvin Allison bought my white dress shoes. Mom lets me know she is so proud of me. The senior banquet was fun. Again, Mom didn't get to come to my graduation. The prom was really a lot of fun. I just knew I was on her mind through all of this. Somehow, Mom silently gave me self-confidence. I'm ready for the rest of my life. My first job after graduation is keeping books for a photography studio. She supported me all the way, but I don't know how long I will be there. Leon and I decide to get married in June. You know, being married makes me feel even closer to mom. I really think it gives me more in common. I love going over to fix her hair as much as I love going over to type her stories for the newspaper. She really doesn't like to have to depend on someone else for things she needs done. She never stops to think how, how much I depend on her for so many things. We always have so much fun when I drive her to her collecting for the, the paper they deliver. We tell each other our secrets. There is one thing that kind of irritates me. If Leon and I have a fuss, I confide in her. She seems to always take Leon's side. She always tells me to put myself in Leon's place to see how I would feel. I'm pregnant now for the first time. Mom still thinks she's supposed to take care of me. I think perhaps she is giving me the care she never had. She insists I take a rest when in fact I'm sure <clears throat> I'm in better shape physically than she is. I have had the most beautiful little girl. There she sits. <laughs> I was so glad when I got out of the hospital I'm at mother, mom's house now. She is seeing after me so perfectly. She knows so much about babies. What would I do without her? She is, on good, she is a good grandmother as she always is a mother. Zan loves mom just like I always have. She spends a lot of time at mom's house. How many grandmothers would actually keep mud pies in their cabinet because a grandchild made them? Mom does. <laughs> <coughs> I'm, uh, I'm 28 years old and should be a grown-up, but mom, mm. mom is in the hospital and I feel so helpless. Mm. All I can do is sit here with her. She's still thinking more about others than herself. She asked me if I would see after Donnie or mom has gone to heaven. My greatest consolation is I will see her again <clears throat> someday. I shall make sure that I prepare myself here to meet her there. I'm so thankful for the relationship I had with my mom. I truly believe God put her here to make the world a better place. This is exactly what she did. She taught by example rather than harsh words or switches. And what an example she was. She was not only full of love to give, 
but she was very bright, ambitious, and always very energetic. I was so well blessed to have had her for 28 years. There's something else I know for sure about her. She loved our father so much, and she wanted each of her children to love him that much. She also loved each of her children so much that I, be, I have seen her cry when one child criticized or made some derogatory remark about another sibling. She wanted desperately for us to love each other. I have tried not to disappoint her. 